This is a little tutorial on a motorcycle build that I just completed. Uh, took me about six months. Uh, I gotta give a big shout out and say thank you to Misfit Interventions. They supplied most of my parts. Um, we got the Nasty Bastard exhaust system. Very loud, very annoying, uh, just the way I like it. Um, air ride suspension. Motorized center stand, you can see there underneath the exhaust pipes. Uh, moving forward here, uh, it's a 26 inch wheel, uh, snug fit fender, uh, rake, uh, rake the front forks out. Um, and then in the rear, I also got the side covers, flared side covers, extended saddle bags, and we switched the lids to the 2000 14 style, which is a lot easier to open and close than the previous models. Um, all these parts were supplied by Misfit, um, and uh, they were really uh, easy to work with. And uh, if I had any problems, I just gave them a call, and they worked me through everything. Um, the bike was painted vivid black, and then we had uh, artwork done by. Cutting Edge Illusions. Uh, they did a fantastic job. Got a skull on this side. If you pan down, he's holding Mustang and Sally. Got lightning bolts here and there and throughout the bike. Uh, on this side, Harley fucking Davidson in the clouds. I don't know how well my phone will pick this up, but. Uh, we have a graveyard theme going on kind of throughout the bike. Pan down here a little bit. We got the Grim Reaper on this side. More graveyard. It's kind of dark in my garage, but the artwork stretches around to the back of the saddlebags. And then on this saddlebag over here, he did a really cool looking moon. Some more lightning. Put mayhem bars on. We upgraded the stereo system. Uh, it's pretty intense now. We got two amplifiers hidden behind the dash. Um, we got 500 watt subs and the bags. Build aluminum tweeters. We also installed build aluminum tweeters. In the dash and uh, new Hertz audio 7 inch speakers in the dash. This is my Saddleman sofa seat. Very comfortable, gel padded. It's a great seat when I'm riding with a woman. And this is my La Para seat. This is what I ride when I'm solo. It's also very comfortable. Not so much for a passenger though. I've installed all the switches for the air ride system on, on the gas tank itself. Uh, it's a lot nicer that way. I've seen a lot of guys that had the switches mounted down below the seat and uh, I tried that at first and it was really uncomfortable um, when you were parking the bike and getting on and off of it. Uh, this this made it really, really nice. We uh, upgraded every light on the bike to LED, including the gauges. The gauges I had modded. They're now blue and red. It's kind of hard to see on my phone. We also did these up here. Uh, we have LED front turn signals, LED headlighting, and then in the rear, we eliminated the stock tail lights, excuse me, the stock turn signals, integrated it all into one, uh, filled the hole, smoothed it out before paint, turned out really nice. Um, Again, I just want to say thank you to Misfit 
for all your technical support, all the wonderful pipes or parts. Um, I also want to say thank you to Cutting Edge Illusions. You guys did an amazing job. Uh, seems really durable. Uh, whatever clear coat you put on over the top, uh, I'm really uh, liking. It seems seems to be holding up rather well. I also want to thank Craig Craft Powder Coating. He did all the powder coating on the motor. This actually used to be a blonde motor and I painted the motor and we pulled all the chrome pieces off and had them powder coated gloss black. Uh, he did one coat of powder coated gloss black and one coat of powder coat clear so it should hold up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and start this bike up so you can hear what these pipes sound like and uh, I don't know how well my phone will pick this up but You'll get an idea anyhow. I'm also going to see if I can find a song and turn the stereo up a little bit so you can hear what this sounds like. guys like my video um, I put a lot of hard work and uh, money into this bike and like I said it took me about six months to build uh, I'm very happy with it now I just can't wait for it to quit raining so I can go ride it <laughs> 